Colin Nell has caught the eye on numerous occasions this season with three top 10 finishes, but other prominent showings too. I'm hitting it good. I just got to get it all together. Um, like, like happened yesterday, I, I managed to tee shots well, iron shots well and putt well. You know, today was a bit well, the opposite, but it's, it's just managing the, the round and, and getting it all to, going to sink. That's the, the, the key. He was the first round leader after a 64 at Zabula before slipping back. Aware how strong you need to remain given the depth of talent. It's great for the tour. It just shows you the standard of the, of the, the guys' golf is getting higher and higher, which is, which is what we want out here. And also I think maybe playing a couple of weeks in a row, you get into a bit of a rhythm. If you're playing well, you're riding the wave. If you're playing badly, you can play yourself out of it. You know, it's, it's not off on, off on. At least we've got a few in a row, which, which helps yeah, pros and cons to it all. But I think with the, the standard of the guys being up, and, and that's good for the tour. The 34-year-old has been a pro now for some nine years. He's still very much enjoying his chosen career, though priorities have changed a bit. Got twins now, so it gets a bit tough uh, getting away from home, but you have to do it to, to pay the checks and that. So and when you don't and you're at home for two months, it gets a bit, I think the, the wife looks at you and says, hey, when are you leaving again? You know, you get on their nerves too. So yeah, it's, it's part of the, the, the job and you enjoy it. And when you don't travel, you, you kind of miss it a little bit. His one Sunshine Tour win came at Wild Coast Sun Country Club in 2014 in the Wild Waves Challenge. The one thing I can remember is the putting. You know, I putted very well. I, I gave myself chances and I, and I made the putts. If you're giving yourself chances and you're missing the putts, it doesn't help. But I think that week I made the chances I got, you know, and that's the key thought going into next week. Yes, returning to the venue, which saw his three strokes win. This time for the Sun Wild Coast Sun Challenge. I enjoy, enjoy Wild Coast, I enjoy playing coastal courses. I've been brought up down there and you know, really looking forward to it. Just hope we can get in three rounds and, and not get washed away or blown away. It looks like some rain is forecast and probably a bit breezy, but hey, it's called Wild Coast. It gave up an 11 under par winning total last year. It's not a long course, but it's a tight course. You know, you, you've got to position your, think your way around the course, you know? I and mean, if you can get that out the way, then it's actually an easy course, you know, and I find when the wind blows there, it's easier than with no wind. You know, with, with wind leash, you know, you can carry bunkers or carry water. With no wind, you're not sure if you can. So if the wind blows a little bit, I think it helps a lot, uh, especially around there. Colin Nell, aiming to tame the wild coast and enjoy another day in the sun.